Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog post about zinc. Uh, one of um, what I consider to be a mainstay of myeloma therapies are nutritional supplementation. Um, many of us write and um, blog about those supplements shown to uh, kill, cause apoptosis to monoclonal proteins, uh, curcumin, resveratrol, uh, green tea, et cetera, et cetera. This post specifically and the studies below talk about zinc. Um, and the, the, the main, one of the studies below caught my eye specifically because a, um, a, a stem cell transplant specialist, a conventionally trained oncologist who specializes in autologous stem cell transplant was quoted below as saying zinc um, helps uh, boost the patient's immune system following a stem cell transplant. As anyone who has had a stem cell transplant knows, our immune system takes a huge hit after high dose aggressive chemotherapy. Our immune systems are dramatically weakened. So after getting back into shape, getting back to normal is a priority. Zinc helps, uh, I think specifically T cells to grow again. Specifically, uh, the doctor was qu quoted as saying, uh, Iovino, who's also a blood stem cell transplant physician, had grown in a, had shown in a previous study that zinc could boost immune recovery in patients undergoing stem cell transplants for the blood cancer multiple myeloma. So again, zinc, low dose, relatively inexpensive therapy, um, in addition to exercise, nutrition, all that other good stuff. If you have any questions or comments, scroll down the page, send me um, a question or a comment, and I will reply to you ASAP. Uh, thank you for your time and attention. Be well.